Hello everyone, this is a tutorial video to demonstrate to you how to navigate through your QGIS workspace by means of some of the most common uh, menu slash navigation slash zooming options. The first navigation tool, and probably I believe this one is, is the default tool, is the touch, zoom, and pan option. Uh, what this does is, as you can see on, on the screen right now, it allows you to actually move the map around through the use of panning and it, it, if you uh, click on an area you'll actually zoom in to a uh, much larger extent of that general area like so. The next tool uh, is the is just solely the pan tool which again panning allows you to uh, move your map around and actually try to get a better feel for which area that you want to look at. The next tool um, is the pan map to selection which uh, some of these icons only apply to um, if some if certain areas are selected. Like for instance, if you were to select like a group of points, and then click on the pan area to pan area to selection, it would then actually focus specifically on that area. And um, there are also uh, standard, standard uh, zooming in, zooming out tools. Uh, typically, for zooming out though, uh, it's better off to n uh, not use that simply because um, it can be somewhat difficult to zoom out fully, but that's why they have the zoom full option which allows you to zoom back to the first extent. In certain situations, however, the zoom out tool actually does have its uses. A few other options available to you include actually going back to the previous zoom uh, setting and even fast forwarding to the current zoom. But there's also a um, that little uh, small uh, looping, looping blue arrow uh, symbol. That's actually a refresher tool which allows you to uh, refresh your map to include any new data that you've added or if you have so many layers that they're not all projected uh, on the screen at once so you're able to actually uh, view them all. There is also a, a measure line tool which I'll demonstrate here briefly uh, that allows you to actually measure two distances uh, anywhere on the anywhere on the uh, map plane and they don't actually have have to be specific points, but this also this, however, does give you a general idea of the distance between two areas. I think for the last part of this tutorial, I'll just briefly open up each of the menu tabs so you can see. Uh, what different options that you have available for you to use in your QGIS projects. Uh, there are many, many different options that you that you can choose from, and the menu bars are also very customizable. For instance, the um, the row that has the floppy disk, the folder, and, and the piece of paper, or, which stands for a new map file, I can actually click and drag that and actually put it at the bottom of my screen. I can put it to the right. Um, I can also right click on the open menu space and actually add in uh, or take out um, various components such as the toolbox. Uh, anything that anything that has an X to it means that it is currently visible on the screen. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.